Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this poncho here that you saw in the picture. Now I did make this for my daughter, but if you look in the description box, I'll give you chain amounts and instructions to make it for different sizes, um, <clears throat> up to an adult, because it's it's not hard to do. But I'll give you the measurement of this one. So you've seen it on my daughter. My daughter is seven years old. There. Um, <clears throat> so this is just a, a pen that I bought at Walmart. So that's optional, you know. So let's do a little bit of measurement before I talk about uh, the stitches. So the, the dip of the poncho here down to the bottom point is 18 inches. And then it's always hard to measure ponchos. Let's do from the farthest out points. How about that? From here to here is 24. Um, I'll give you one more. I'll do the top of the neck down to the, to the arm is 14 and a half. Okay. Now, <clears throat> when you make this poncho, as you can tell, um, and as you can tell from the pictures, the arms are a, a lot longer than what, this is a two-point poncho, than what a normally a two-point poncho would be. Um, they usually, they're a lot sharper. So, uh, when I made this, uh, the increase rows are very slow. So, um, it increases very, very slow, which made the arms come down further, so the point wasn't quite as, you know, as sharp as a regular two-point poncho. So what that means is whenever you do the neck, it needs to be larger. Like um, when I did it on my daughter, it was almost coming off her shoulders, but that was fine because it has to be that way because of the way that the poncho grows so slowly, otherwise it won't fit right. But then at the end, you come back and you go around the neck with some rows. As you can see, I did some half double single and then I also did the reverse uh, it's black, but you can't see it. Reverse uh, single or the crap stitch at the top. And that brings the neck in more to make it tighter and to fit more. But it does have to be a larger chain around your neck in the beginning because of such of the slow increases that this uh, poncho has. And like I said, I did that so it came out longer on your arms and there wasn't quite... Because sometimes two-point ponchos have such a, a point on them. Um, compared to where they land on the top of your arms or the mid, you know, your arms. So this is done with the Alpine stitch, which is a very, very beautiful stitch. It is a little bit slow, go <laughs> slow going sometimes, but it is a very solid stitch. So, uh, my daughter really likes it. You can see there, it's not hard. It is a double crochet and front post triple crochet. And then you'll need to know how to do half double crochet and single crochet. Now this crab stitch border up here, or the reverse single, is very easy to do. But of course you can leave that off if you want. And you can always adjust uh, by adding more rows to your neck once you're finished. Or less, depending on how far you want it to be on your neck. Some people don't like it real close to your neck. And some people might want it hanging off your shoulders. It is completely up to you. So if you look in the description box, let me set this to the side. Um, I'll give you chain amounts for the sizes. And remember, if the chain seems big, it, it needs to be big in the beginning to get it over your shoulders because of that slow increasing of, of stitches. But, you know, we'll go back and we will do up the neck and make it come in up on your, on your neck more so it doesn't fall off. All right, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Now, you don't have to use the yarn that I used, but I'll do, I will show you what I used. So for this particular tutorial, or poncho, I use yarn from Yarn, uh, Snob Yarns, it's a gradient cake. It's a medium weight number four super wash merino. There are 363 yards here. The color is called Cousin Michelle. You can get this at www.yarnsnobyarns.com. Um, it's hand dyed yarn. I use two cakes, almost completely all two cakes, so it took me 700 yards to make that a poncho. <clears throat> now, um, the amount of, you can use any four-weight yarn that you want. Any four-weight yarn will be fine. 
Um, the amount that you need actually will depend on what size you're making them for. I'm not sure how much you're going to need for an adult because it really just depends on how long that you want to make it. Um, like I said, mine I took 700 yards for this, the measurements that I told you. Um, <clears throat> I would consider maybe the Alpine Stitch kind of a mediocre yarn eater. <laughs> it, like I said, and a little bit slow growing, but it's a beautiful stitch. So uh, why don't we go ahead and get started. I'll talk about the hook size and the chain amount. All right, and then I'm going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So that poncho there that I uh, showed in a picture, uh, remember to refer the, to the description box for sizing, uh, should fit approximately ages six to uh, 10. Um, and you want to start with a chain of 72. I know that seems like a, a little bit bigger of a chain, but remember, uh, you do need a little bit wider of a chain. And then if you look also in the description box, it'll tell you, you know, for different sizes, what chain size that you need. I'm going to show you on a little bit smaller of a scale, but once you get your chain, uh, depending on what size you're making, um, we're making a big long chain and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. So we start at the neck and we work down. Okay. So once you get your chain, slip stitch into the first stitch to form one big ring, just like that. And then we're going to start off with a chain of one, which does not count as a stitch. And then we're going to go back back into the very first stitch there that we just slip stitched into, and we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to work around our chain, and we're going to work one single crochet into every stitch of our chain so all the way around until you get back over here to your starting point all right row one remember is one single on every stitch until you make it back around to the beginning all right, once you make it back around to the beginning, you should have the same amount of stitches that you started with, depending on what size you're doing. So if you're doing uh, the one like I did for my daughter and we started with 72 chains, you'll have 72 stitches when you make it back around. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to slip stitch into our first stitch to form a ring. Now, this poncho has two points. It's going to have one in the back here and one in the front. It's also a poncho that has no visible seam. So we're not uh, having to slip stitch all the way across with like we do with some ponchos. We're going to do it a different way. So we're going to make our first point here. And we're going to do it right here into this stitch that we just started into. But we're only going to do half of the first point. And then when we make it back around, We'll do the other half at the end. That way, that will eliminate any seams that we have. So we're going to start off by chaining one, which does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work our first point here, but remember we're only going to work half of it. So we're going to go into this stitch right here, and we're going to work two double crochets. So that's only the half of the point. Now, following along with me, if you did the 72 stitches, we're going to work a double crochet into the next 35 stitches. Now, if you refer to your size below, it'll tell you how many stitches you need, how many double crochets you, that you need to do before you get to your second point. So, not counting this one, I'm going to work 35 double crochets for my size. And then we'll work our second point. So it's just double crochet in every stitch. Um, the amount of double crochet is depending on the size that you're making. All right, so once you get the amount of double crochets that you need, um, in the next stitch, we're going to work the point, and this will be the front of our poncho. So we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to work two double crochets. A 
chain of two and then we're going to go back into that same stitch and we're going to work two more double crochets just like that and now we're going to continue across and we're going to do the same thing on this side that we just did on this side so you should be putting one double crochet in every stitch and you should have the same amount of stitches on each side so if you're working the small size like me it'll be 35 stitches but that just depends on which size that you're doing so i'm going to continue doing a double crochet in every stitch until i make it back to my uh, back point all right so i'm coming to the end of row two and this is how we're going to end the point on this particular row this we're on the back point now so we started with two double crochets now we need to put two double crochets into the same stitch here at the end that way we have the same amount as the front point now this is how we're going to end so we don't have any uh, visible seam we're going to end by putting a half double crochet into the first double crochet so yarn over go into that first double crochet and half double so what that does that half double acts as a chain two so we can directly start our next point right here so we don't have to do any slip stitching over which eliminates the seam okay at the end of row two you should have six more stitches than you did the previous row so that was row two now we're going to go ahead and start row three which <clears throat> excuse me we'll start the repeat rows of the pattern all right um rows three and four are the repeat rows so we'll go ahead and start row three and we're going to chain one which it does not count as a stitch and remember we're only going to do half of the point here um this time we're only going to work one double crochet here so go ahead and put it right here in this space and we work one double crochet just like that so instead of putting two there we only put one and this is what gives it a slow fade increase a slow increase there as i it's not going to give us such a sharp point and now we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch so that is this one right here that we just half double crocheted into and then the next stitch we're going to put a front post triple crochet so we're going to yarn over twice and we're going to go around the post of it and then we're going to do a front post triple crochet and that will be the repeat until we get to our next point double crochet into the top of the next stitch and then front post triple crochet around the post of the next double crochet into the next stitch and front post triple crochet around the post of the next and we'll continue this repeat until we make it to the front point all right so i made it to the chain two space of my front point <clears throat> and what we're going to do is work one double crochet into that chain two space and then we're going to work a chain of two and one more double crochet so that is the front point now and now we're going to do the same thing on this side that we just did on this side so we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch and a front post triple around the post of the next and that's what we're going to repeat until we get to the last point double crochet into the top of the next and a front post triple around the post of the next so it's the same thing that we did on the other side we're just repeating it double crochet and then we front post triple crochet 
double, front post, triple, double, front post, triple, and I'll meet back up with you here where we started our back point. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three, and here is where we started our back point. Remember, we only did half of it. Now we're going to finish it. We're going to go back into this chain space, or this half double space that we made in the beginning. We're going to work one double crochet into it, and then we're going to end by putting a half double crochet into our first double crochet here. Remember, this is eliminating any seams. There we go. That acts as a chain two, and now we can start row four right here in this space. Now row four, we're going to chain one. Sorry, at the end of row three, you will have um, four more stitches than you did the previous row. Every time you repeat a, a round three from now on, you'll have four more stitches than the previous row. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start uh, row four. We're gonna chain one. Now this time we're gonna go into the chain space and we're gonna work two double crochets. like that and then you have to look so we're doing the alpine stitch which means that um, we do opposite front post and opposite uh, double crochets so there's a front post here from the previous row so on top of it we know we need to do a regular double crochet on the next row and then this one would need to be a front post triple crochet and then this would need to be a regular double crochet so we'll go ahead and put a double crochet into the top of the first stitch which is the one that our half double is in and then we'll go ahead and do a front post triple around the next And then the next stitch you can see was a front post triple from the previous row, but we're going to put a double crochet into the top of it this time. And then, and then the next stitch, which was a double crochet from the previous row, we're going to put a front post triple around that. You'll be able to see the pattern emerge more the more rows that you do. And then the next stitch you can see was a post stitch from the previous row. Now we're just going to put a double crochet into the top of it. And the next stitch we're going to do a front post triple, but you can see that it was just a regular double crochet before. So we're just making them opposite. We're not lining the post stitches up. We're making them catty corner every other row. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern. It's the same pattern. We're just not lining the post stitches up of double crochet and a front post double crochet until we get double crochet and front post triple crochet it's all front post triples i apologize if i said double at any time only double crochets are regular double crochets in the top and then a front post triple into the next all the front post stitches are triples regular double crochet into the next and a front post triple into the next now i'm going to meet back up with you when we get to the chain two space of our uh point here at the front all right i made it to the chain two space of my front point so this time you can see the time before the row before we did one double chain two one double this time we're gonna do two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Into that chain two space. And then two more doubles into it. So two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Just like that. And then we're gonna repeat again over here, what we just did over here. 
So let's see, I ended with my last stitch was a regular double crochet. So I'm going to start with a regular double crochet. And then I'll do a front post triple crochet into the next. And we'll repeat this pattern, a regular double crochet. And a front post triple crochet into the next. We're going to repeat this until we get to the back point and I'll show you how to finish that off because remember we only did half of it in the beginning and then we finish it and we make it back around. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row four. So I'm at the chain two space here and we started with two double crochets in it. So we're going to go back in and we're going to work two double crochets in it to match the front post. And then instead of the chain two, we're going to half double crochet into the first double crochet, just like that. Now I add that will end row four. Now every time you repeat row four, you will now have eight more stitches than you did the previous row. So a repeat of row three is four more stitches of the previous row and a repeat of row four is eight more stitches of the, re of the previous row. So we're going to go ahead and start off row five by uh, repeating row three um, with one a little bit of a difference, not really nothing major, but we're going to go ahead and chain one and this is where we work, start out with one double crochet here into the first stitch or into the chain two spot. Now remember you always have to look because our front post triple crochets they need to be catty cornered from the row before so here is our front our first front post triple crochet from the previous row so we know a regular double has to go here a front post triple has to go here a regular double crochet here and that means our first stitch needs to be a front post triple crochet in order for it to be catty cornered whenever you get here so go ahead and yarn over twice and go around that chain one sp space and that double crochet and do a front post triple that's the only little bit of difference here that is every time every other time you repeat this row one will start out with a uh, front post triple and the other one will start out with a regular double and then we're going to go ahead and start the repeat by Doing a double crochet into the next and a front post triple into the next and now you can see now here is our first front post triple from the previous row and we need that to be a double crochet on top of that since we are working them catty cornered from each other we don't keep our posts lined up the next stitch is a front post triple and as you can see it was a regular double crochet in the previous row. We're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern until we get to our next point. Regular double crochet in the next. You can see it was a front post triple so now from the previous row now we're just going to put a double crochet into the next and repeat this. front post triple and then a double front post triple and double until you get to your chain two space of your front point All right, so I come to the point here. Remember, I'm just repeating what I did on round three with the exception of this time. You can see it ended in a front post triple, but as long as you follow your pattern, it'll be the same. So I'm at my chain two space. And now remember for this row, we only do one double crochet, a chain of two, and then another double crochet into that chain two space and since we ended with a front post triple we need to start with a front post triple on this side 
and then we repeat the same pattern double crochet into the next front post triple into the next and you can see the next stitch is a front post triple from the previous row so that gets a regular double crochet on top of it the next stitch is a regular double crochet from the previous row so we'll need to do a front post triple around that stitch so we're just repeating um row three doing the same thing on this side that we did on this side until we get over here to our point all right i'm coming to the end of row five which this is a repeat of row three with the exception of this time i'm ending in a front post triple now i'm at my chain two space and remember we only put one double crochet this time so we just need to put one double crochet in it to match the front post and instead of chaining two we're going to do a half double crochet into that first double crochet and that's going to act as our chain two space and remember every time that you repeat round three which would which we just did you will have four more stitches than you did the previous row so that's it you're just repeating rows three and four so i just did row five which was a repeat of row three and if i do row six it's going to be a repeat of row um <clears throat> four and that's where we put two doubles in the points here two doubles chain two two doubles and then the next one would be one double chain two one double in the front we do the same thing in the back except we do half first and then half last and just remember that uh one repeat you'll start with a after you do the two doubles chain two two doubles one repeat you'll start with a double crochet in the next and then next time you repeat it you'll start with a front post triple it's pretty much like i said if you just look at where your stitches are lined up you'll know that this needs a double crochet on top of it so this will have to be a front post triple and you can just back up and follow your stitches that way but after a few repeats i'm going to show, show you how to end it it starts to look like this oops sorry about that the uh, button hit the front you can start to see the visible appearance of the alpine stitch a lot more once you get to going i think it's really quite beautiful so for this size here i did a total of 25 rows and that is counting that first row of single crochet it was a total of 25, but I didn't tie off. I did do a finishing edge, which I'll show you how to do that right now. So you get your piece as long as you want it to be, depending on what size you're doing. You know, you just make it however long you want it to fit you. Whether you want a short poncho or a long, long poncho, it all is up to you. It's your poncho, you make it how you like. But to finish it off, you want to end on a row three repeat. But once you get it as long as you want it to be, you might notice that it might have a little bit of a curl. Sometimes it does that with post stitches and sometimes these are, you know, tiny post stitches. You know, there's not a lot of post stitches here. But let's straighten it out just in case. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna chain one. So this time I'm going to do what I would have did on the next row. But I'm going to use half double crochet. So I'm going to put two half double crochets into that spot and then we'll finish the other half on the way back around and now what i'm going to do is just work one half double crochet in every stitch all the way around i'm not doing any more double crochets here and i'm not doing any more front post triple crochets i'm just working a half double crochet in every stitch until i get to my uh next chain two space my front point of my poncho this is just going to kind of give it a little bit cleaner of an edge and in case you might have a curl it really depends on how tight you crochet this will take care of it so one half double in every stitch until you get to the front point or your next chain two space all right i made it to my front point and since we ended on a row a three repeat we're going to do what we would you know do for row four we're going to put two half doubles like that remember we're working half doubles this round a chain two and two more half doubles into that same 
chain space and then we're going to work along running one half double crochet in every stitch just like we did over here until we get to back to the beginning and we'll finish out that last point All right, I'm coming here to the end here of the edging row and I'm going to go ahead and put two half double crochets into this chain two spot here to match the front point like that. And I'm going to end by putting a half double crochet into the first half double crochet. And I'm going to go around one more time for the edging. This time I'm going to do single crochet. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into this spot right here. I'm going to work two single crochets into that spot like that. And I'm going to work around and I'm going to put one single crochet, <clears throat> excuse me, into every stitch until we get to the front point of our poncho. So this is the final uh, edging row here. It's just one single crochet in every stitch. And I'll meet back up with you when we get to the front point of our poncho. All right, once you make it to the front point here, this chain two space, we're gonna work four single crochets into that chain two space. There's one, two, three and there's four so that's how we're going to finish off that front point and now we're going to continue around again putting one single crochet in every stitch until we get to our last our back point there and that's where i'll meet back up with you i've come here to my back point now you can see that I put started with two single crochets into that spot and I'm going to end with two single crochets into that spot. That way we have four like we do in the front. And then I'm going to slip stitch into my first single crochet and I'm going to tie that off and that will complete the main body of the poncho. Now for the neck area. Now you can put fringe or you know do whatever you want to do with your poncho. Now we're going to work the neck area. Remember I said that it'll probably be quite a bit larger than what you are used to. Now if you like it that large, that's fine. Leave you can you know leave it the way it is, um, however you like. Um, I'll show you what I did for the poncho that I made. I actually did the same thing that I did down here. So I started in the back. So here's my back work. <clears throat> and as you can see, there is no seam in the back for, because we did not do any slip stitching, which is always nice. Okay, so you can start in any one of these stitches in the back up here. And I'm going to pull my yarn through. I'm going to try to hide these tails as I go. But what I'm going to do is chain one, and I'm going to work a half double crochet into every stitch around the, the neckline. Half double. Now remember, you don't have to do this. It really depends on how wide of an opening you like your poncho necks and how uh, maybe you want it a close close neck. So you can also do more than I do. It's completely up to you. I'm just showing what I did for the one that you see in the picture. So I'm working around and I'm working one half double crochet in every stitch until I make it back around to my starting point. All right, so once you make it all the way around um, for your first half double crochet row of your neck, if you're doing this, you should have the same amount of stitches that you started with. So for the size that I did that you see in the picture, I started with 72. So I'll have 72 stitches here. Now we can go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first half double crochet. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. You know, I don't think anybody's going to come up and count, but as long as you have somewhere close to the amount that you started with. 
And then we're going to chain one and we're going to work around putting a single crochet in every stitch now. So I'm going to go back into that same stitch there. And I'm going to work one single crochet in that stitch and then one single crochet in every stitch around until I make it back around to my starting point. And I do want to say one more time, remember this is your poncho. You make it how you want. You don't have to follow my directions exactly. I just give you like a little blueprint and you use your creativity and imagination to make your poncho however you want it to look. I'm basically just kind of just showing you what I did for the one in the picture. All right, one single on every stitch and I'll meet back up with you when we make it back around to starting point. All right, I made it back around and uh, with my row of single crochet along the neck. And again, I'm going to slip stitch into my first single. Now, what I did was I did a row of reverse single crochets, otherwise known as a crab stitch. You can do this if you want. But what I did was chain one and all it is is single crochets, but we're working it in the opposite, dire opposite direction. So reverse. So I'm going to um, go into the first stitch, but you go in like take your hook and go underneath it like that and then you grab your yarn and pull it through and then yarn over and go through those two stitches it's a little bit like uh it's not it's just awkward at first but then once you get the hang of it it's actually really easy and it makes a really nice edge go into the next stitch kind of go out a downward motion like that and go into it and then grab your yarn and pull it back through and then yarn over and go through those two loops again the next stitch kind of take your hook at a downward motion and go into it and then you can flip your wrist and pull grab that yarn and pull it through yarn over and go through those two loops and then the next one downward motion back up grab that yarn pull it through two loops yarn over and go through all two loops and we do this all the way around. It's just a single crochet in every stitch, it's just in reverse. So kind of working at a downward motion when I go into the stitch and then I flip my wrist back up and pull the yarn through. And you work this all the way around, one in every stitch, remember totally optional, um, until you make it back to around to your starting point. And then you would just slip stitch into your first one tie off and that would be it and as you can see once you get to going it becomes really easy and it makes kind of a rope like appearance at the top so uh, that is how it's done like i make kind of a mini poncho for a doll anyways that is how it's done i think it's really pretty my daughter seems to really like it a lot and it fits her quite well <laughs> And like I said, this uh, it's just a pin or that I got at Walmart. You don't have to do that. But I think something else I thought about, but uh, I didn't do it, uh, was running a single crochet uh, length of chain in and out of these double crochets here. And then putting a couple tassels or a couple pom-poms or some beads off of it. That would be super cute, you know. Or you could just leave it plain. It will look amazing that way too. So I hope that you were able to understand. And I hope you were able to follow along with my tutorial. Um, if you like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. If you look in the description box, there will be a playlist with over a thousand crochet tutorials. You know, they're all there. Free food for you to enjoy. I have anything that you could ever want to make and multiples of them. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you don't miss out. And if you make this, you can come show me a picture on my Facebook page, okay? There's a link to that below as well. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.